Now, let's be honest, AI is pretty much the topic of the moment and it's everywhere and I've covered it myself. Well, let's continue that trend today. Let's take a quick look at an, a free chatbot that we can add to our website that uses ChatGPT to kind of power it. As you can see, I've got an example in the corner. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's ask it something really simple. Let's get a weather forecast from it. As you can see, my little chatbot is not the happiest chap around. But don't worry, we can change all of that. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at how we can add this to our site and how easy it all is. So for this, we're going to be using a free plugin called AI Engine from Meow Apps. Now, there is a pro version. I haven't tested this out. I believe it's around $30 for the pro version. So if you want to check it out, check it out. No affiliate links, anything like that. Let's go ahead and open this up. And this gives us an overview of what's going on. And this is regularly updated. I literally went to set up, start recording this tutorial, and there was an update from when I installed it probably an hour ago. So this is something that is going to be tweaked, adjusted, and improved as we go along. And once you install it, you get a new entry inside your dashboard called Meow Apps. And inside there, we've got AI Engine. Now, once you're inside there, the first thing we need to do is add our API key from ChatGPT. As you can see, I've already got one inserted in here, but all you need to do is click on the Open AI account. That will then take you over to the relevant page inside ChatGPT, open it up. That will take you to the relevant page inside ChatGPT. You'd have to log in and have an account, obviously. And once you're inside there, all you need to do is click Create New Secret Key. That will then create a key for you. You can simply copy that, head back over into the settings for the AI engine, pop that inside there, click outside, and it'll automatically save it for you. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and you can just start using it, or you can fine tune and refine the actual AI algorithm and how it all works. So let's take a quick look. So first of all, you can see we can enable things like the chatbot, the assistance, uh, blocks if you want to use those as well. You can see some of these things like statistics are pro only, so don't worry about that. What we're interested in though is hopping over to the chatbot option and inside here, this is where we can customize our chatbot. Now we can have it like you've seen in my example where we've got the little sort of pop-up in the corner or you can actually insert this into a page as a standard little block using Gutenberg. There's already a couple of blocks as part of Gutenberg you can simply drop in there. But we're gonna use this little pop-up so all you need to do is make sure you enable the features that you want. You can customize the look of this. You can choose from different avatars if you want to. I chose this little happy looking robot who's not so happy. And then we've got the chatbot builder. And this is where the meat and bones of actually setting up how you want the chatbot to work. So you can see I've got the mode set to chat, but you can if you want to use this with images. So if you wanted to insert Dali into your site, you could do that inside here. But we want to focus primarily on the chat option. You can see then I've got the context, and this is basically the tone of voice that our little chat bot is going to actually take. And as you can see, mine is moody, arrogant, and grumpy. But let's just say you wanted to change that to happy and helpful. We click outside, and let's go back and test that out now, see how the tone of voice changes. So let's go ahead, open up our little chat bot again, and ask the same question. And as you can see, he's much more obliging now, actually giving us the information. As you can tell, it's not particularly warm in this country at the moment. But you can see it's really easy to start playing about having a bit of fun with this. You can have a grumpy one, a happy one, whatever you wanted. And then you can see you've got the AI name, so you can give this a name if you want to. You can give users, you can give placeholder messages, you can choose the style. Now, ChatGPT is obviously what we are using, but maybe there'll be more in the future. And then you've got some other options like pop-up window, whether you want it to be full screen, those kinds of things. You can also choose what model is going to be used. Now, ChatGPT currently has four different language models. This is using the DaVinci option, but as you can see, there's the Curie, Babbage, and Ada. So you can choose these, and they have different levels of accuracy and those kinds of things. You can find out more on the ChatGPT and OpenAI website if you want to find out more about those. And as you can see, we've got the tokens and the temperature. The tokens, if you are using a paid for account where you buy tokens, which is the number of words and things like that are going to be used, this allows you to at least keep track of how many you want to allow as part of the chatbot and so on. And as you can see, we've got things like fine tune it and so on, and a couple of options that are pro only. But to be honest, all you really need to do is set up the basics inside you. If you want to use these, so say set as default par uh, parameters, inject default chatbot into website, so it'll automatically add that in. And if you want to cut, change the colors, all those kinds of things, you can do that to make sure it's all fully in tune. So that's all you need to do, but there is still more if you want to. You can fine tune your AI. 
you can come in here, you can let ChatGPT kind of can take control of everything. But if you were using this now or in the future, as this kind of gets more fully featured, you can train this with your own data set. And a data set basically allows you to put things like the question that may be answered and the specific answer or answers that you want to give. So this allows you to create something that's very unique and on point for the website that you actually insert it into. So that's pretty cool to see. I'm not gonna cover that in this example, it's probably a little bit too complex, but you can go ahead and start adding in your own custom data sets should you want to. And if we come into posts, you'll see there's a new entry called Generate New, and this is part of the AI options. You can see we can now go ahead and we can add in a topic and it'll auto-generate using ChatGPT content that we can use inside a post. So for example, Let's do something like how AI is revolutionizing the chatbot market. Let's say generate all. And after a few moments, that's actually gone ahead and written an article for us. Now, you wouldn't use this exactly as it is, but it is a starting point. And you can see we can choose the content parameters. In other words, what language we want this to be in, the type of writing style, and also the overall tone of voice that's being used. You've also got model parameters. So again, you can see you can choose between those four different chat GPT kind of models. We've also got options then for the temperature, the maximum tokens, and any prompts you want to add in, or if you want to customize the prompt that's currently being used by simply using these options. And you can even use templates and things. So this is kind of interesting, but I think the chatbot is probably the more fun aspect, because I think if I was going to do this, I would probably go ahead and just use chat GPT to do it, and then take that into another tool like phrase, optimize it for the keyword, and things like that, tweak it to make it a little bit more human, and then I would link that and bring it into WordPress itself. But it's interesting, it's exciting to see where this is going, and that's basically all I wanted to show you in this video. It's a really simple, fun way of adding an AI chatbot to your website that can have a bit of fun with a certain tone of voice however you want to set it up. All the links are in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, or you have any comments or questions, drop those in the comment section below. My name is Paul C, this is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.